Thank you very much. Good afternoon, young people of labor. Good afternoon. Let me welcome the parliamentarians and my colleagues here this afternoon and members of the SLPYO executive and a special mention to the guest speaker, Kenson Kasimi. Give me a round of applause for me, please. I also want to thank Dr. Kenny Anthony, the parliamentary representative of Viewfort South, for gracing us with his presence and giving the opening remarks. My sisters and my brothers, I have no fear for the Labour Party. I have no fear for the Labour Party. You know why? Because of you. I have no fear because of you. And when I hear a young man on the butt of victimization can come here and give that address, I feel stronger I feel fortified. And I know that our party is going forward. So hold tight, be strong, because victory is ours. And nothing can stop it. They can jump high, they can jump low, Victory belongs to the people of St. Lucia, led by the young people of St. Lucia, and led by the young people of labor. Amen. So I want you to give yourselves a round of applause. And I want you to be happy. I'd ask you to jump and scream, but not yet. We have to wait for that, for that, that day, that day when we've won these elections, when a government of the people, by the people, and for the people will be in power, then, then we will celebrate. But in the meantime, we have to work. And Kenson told you, you have to work hard. Because what they intend to, you, to do is to mama guy you, to bluff you, to show all kinds of things. And he spoke about the prostitution of the electoral process. And that comes in different ways and many ways. Because when the election is near, they will bring everybody down, all artists, all sorts of entertainment. Look, look for it. Look for it. But I know the young people of St. Lucia, they understand that they will not be fooled again by that foolishness that passes for politics in St. Lucia. And you have a right, and you have a right to stand up against that foolishness that passes for the politics of the United Workers' Party. You have a right. Because you need to be respected. You need to be understood. And that is why our government, our first priority in our first budget address, we are going to give you, after discussions with you, the basis of a youth economy. An economy for the young. An economy for the youth. And as we speak to you in the different constituencies, and as we develop it, we are going to make a serious statement on what we intend to do with a youth economy. And in the first budget address that the Minister of Finance will read, in that budget address, you're going to get funding and financing for youth economy to develop the young people of St. Lucia. And that is my pledge and my promise to you, young people. That is my pledge and my promise to you because you are smarter than that. You will not be fooled again. You understand 
that your NIC funds are important. And when they take your NIC funds and they give it to foreigners and tell you it's about investment, when just lower down, there is a golf course that they gave incentives for also, but they tell you they'll take your funds, your NIC funds. And I will tell you, you have to protect your NIC funds because these funds are not for us. You are the ones who fund us. When you work, when you work and you pay your NIC, you are the ones who are taking care of the generation. And who will take of yours, of you, when you grow old, if they waste your NIC money? So you must think about it. Do not say, that's not for me, because I haven't reached retirement age as yet. Because in the current trajectory, by the year 2050, if they continue like that with our NIC funds, Balfini will own a sack. And 2050 might look very far away. It's far away for me, I'll be dead. But not for many of you in this room. Not for many of you in this room. 2050 will be a year when some of you will be speaking about your NIC funds. And if they continue like that, if they do not take the necessary steps to protect your NIC funds, you will be in trouble. So the NIC funds is also about you. It's not only about the people who are of age, it's about you also. So, my brothers and my sisters, in that youth economy that we are speaking about, we are going to fund it. We are going to fund the projects that you decide that you want. And the first thing they say, when I made the point that we want a university graduate in every household within a reasonable time, and that is something we can achieve and we will achieve, they said, where are you getting money from? Where are you getting money from? That's the first thing they say. Anytime you have any project for the young people of St. Lucia, the first thing they tell you is, where are you going to get the money from? But they found $30 million to give people from Malaysia for a project called Pomandu. What did Pomandu give you? Nothing. Pomandu gave you a lot of computer renderings. $30 million. They found, and up to this day, and I have nothing against employment for the young people of St. Lucia. Nothing against it. Up to this day, they have not told you how much money they have spent on Ojo Labs. Up to this day, I've asked them, how much money are you spending or have you spent on Ojo Labs? For the people who are working at Ojo Labs, I'm happy for them. Up to this day, they cannot tell you why with somebody like Crafton, who is one of the best people in the world. Crafton is one of the best curators in the world. Why would they take $13 million and give it to a foreigner called Lockerbie and you have Crafton going to prepare pictures as far as Dubai? That's where we'll get the money from. We are going to get the money by having our priorities right. We are going to get the money by stopping corruption. We are going to get the money by stopping giving jobs to the boys and the girls. That's where we're going to get the money from. And as Kenson told you, it's a matter of priorities. And our priority, number one, is youth. Priority number two is youth. And priority number three is youth. And we've done it before. We've done it before. Do not forget your history. It's this Labour Party that created universal primary school education and universal secondary school education for the young people of St. Lucia. And it's this Labour Party that will create one university graduate in every household in St. Lucia. 
And that is our vision. Our vision for the young people is inclusiveness. Our vision for the young people is participation. Our vision for the young people is truth. That's our vision. We're going to include you. We're going to let you participate. And we're going to speak the truth to you. Gone are the days when politicians believe that they can say whatever they want to get a vote. And I'll tell you something. This Labour Party will always speak the truth to you. We will always tell you what is the exact state of life and things in the country and you will decide. And that is why we are against putting $600 million worth of debt on your backs. On your backs. Because these debts are on your backs to build an airport when there was an arrangement where you could get that same airport and not pay that, put that burden of debt on the backs of the young people of St. Lucia. And listen to how they insult you. They tell you that you've lost $1.5 billion worth of revenue. Do you think if any man has respect for the people of St. Lucia, has any respect for the young people of St. Lucia, they will just tell you you will make $1.5 billion. Nothing about the expenses. Nothing about the cost of running the airport. Nothing about the loan repayments. Nothing about the interest. Nothing about the procurement policies. And to make it worse, up to today, they have not told you how they will choose the contractors to build that airport. And remember, they tried to build an airport already. They tried. And up to now, the U.S. attorney is looking at phone calls some of them in the cabinet made. And up to now, a talk show host has said openly he was bribed. He was, a, he was attempted to be bribed, attempted bribery by a sitting minister. And up to now, that minister has not denied it. The same about up to now, that minister has not denied it, and the talk show host has repeated it over and over again. But they want to take everybody else, everybody else. Anything you say, they want to victimize you. Anything you say, they want to scandalize you. They want to call you all names. But this man has said on several occasions that he was offered a bribe for an airport and no one, nobody has said that is not true. Young people, young people, it's about you. It's about your future. It's not about the future of your parents or your grandparents. It's, a, it's your future. You are the ones who will determine the future. And your parents are those who have set the foundation for you. So you must build on that foundation. You must build on it. And I'm very happy. I want you to go back to your constituencies and organize yourself. I want you to go back to your constituencies and strengthen your organization. I want you to go back to your constituencies and work with the candidates. And let me tell you something about candidates. I'm pleased to be leader of this party. Because the number of young candidates I see who are emerging, the number of young candidates who are emerging and who are putting themselves up for office. I'm proud of this Labour Party. I want you to round of applause. And when I hear, when I hear Kenson, and when I know about the candidates that we are going to announce in ancillary canneries very shortly. <laughs> I am, I am proud of this Labour Party. I'm proud. And when, when we roll out that group of candidates, experience, 
ability, including women. Because we need to have women candidates in the next general election. And there are prospects there. There are prospects there. And when I see, and when I see and I hear how young people, as is evidence today, because many cynics would tell you, you can't get young people in a hall. Every constituency is represented here this afternoon. And I'm proud of you. I'm happy. The future of the Labour Party is in good hands. The future of the Labour Party is secured. And when I go to Castro South's conference and I see everyone who took a main a role in that conference were young people, including the master of ceremonies who was not yet 16, I think. I'm proud. I'm proud. I am proud. And when I go to Denry South and I hear there's a symposium for young people and I hear what's happening in the other constituencies, the future of the Labour Party is in good hands. And I want you to ensure that it remains in good hands and the way to make it remain in good hands is to put yourself in power. And putting yourself in power means getting rid of the United Workers Party. And the executive, Sister Shomian and the executive, and when I hear the two masters of ceremonies, I'm proud, I'm proud, I'm proud of the Labour Party. I'm very proud. So when I leave, the Labour Party will remain in good hands. So my sisters and my brothers, do not be troubled. Do not doubt yourself. Don't get involved in self-doubt. Don't say, bye, bye, all politicians are the same. Labour Party politicians are not the same with the United Workers Party. <laughs> Do not be in doubt. Do not worry about them trying to choose your candidate for you. The Labour Party will choose its own candidates. And tell them, any sentient of the candidates who run the last general election for us would be a better Prime Minister than what we have now. So do not allow yourself to be confused. Stay focused. As I say, keep your eye on the prize. I want you to say it after me, please. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. We must keep our eye on the prize. Be focused. Be focused. Don't let yourself be sidetracked by drama and Clegg Glenn. Stay focused. Join your constituency group. Ensure that you are registered. Make sure you have your ID card. That is your weapon. Is your ID card that's your weapon? Make sure you get it when you turn to be 18. And if you know anybody who is 18, try to convince them to get the ID cards. And even though you have a school ID card, you cannot vote on your school ID card. You have to vote on a national ID card. So get your national ID cards. Because we have to teach them a lesson. We have to stop them from bluffing us and maligning us and telling us we cannot get work on nice if we are Labour Party supporters. Saying to us, 90% of the nice workers were well, Labour Party supporters so they can't get work. That will stop. When the Labour Party gets back into government, we will have in our youth economy a special place for youth employment. So my sisters and my brothers, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for attending this conference. I want to thank the organizers. I'm happy. I'm happy because I see the party is moving. And all the naysayers that said to you, labor died, labor dead, labor dead. 
Labour is alive and kicking, and Labour will win the next general election. I thank you.